and a fantastic technique for painting flowers. Here's a great technique for you. Push it, pull it. Now, don't worry, it's not one of those naff dances the oldies do at a party. Yeah. It's a really cool way of painting flowers. Now, first you need some good flowery colours like pink or yellow and a darker version of each colour. So I've got orange as a darker version of the yellow and a sort of mauvey purple as a darker version of the pink. And also, you must use thick paint for this. Now, I'm going to start with a pink flower. Load some darker colour around the middle of your brush. See that? I'm just turning it to get, pick up that colour. And then load your lighter colour on the tip of your brush. Like that. And then just roll off any excess colour. You don't want too much. And the idea is to paint the petals of your flowers with this two-tone brush. And here's the technique. To do a petal, you push it and then pull it towards you like that. Look at that. See, push and pull. And you get the shape of your petal. Just push it down, pull it into the centre, just lifting your brush as you do it. I need a little bit more paint here. Just load the dark colour around the middle of your brush, turning it in the paint, and then your lighter colour on the tip, like that, and then just roll off any excess in the middle, and off you go again. And again, just pull like that into the middle. So you push it first and you pull it. And you push it and you pull it. And the two tones of your paint streak together. And you get this great petal texture. Again, I need some more paint. In I go, dark around the middle and light on the tip. Get rid of the excess, and again, on it goes. And the technique is you push it, and you pull it. You push it, and you pull it. And the idea is to go all the way around like this, pulling your brush into the middle, and you get this fantastic flower. Then to finish it off, just put a few pink dots in the middle, like that. And a few mauve dots dotted in between, like that. And there you have your flower. And if you load your brush up in the same way with two other tones, so this time darker orange and lighter yellow on the tip, and then roll the excess off in the middle again. Yeah, that thing. And again, same technique. You push it and you pull it to create your petal. Push and pull. And again, put some dots in just to finish the middle of the flower. And you can even add some leaves using exactly the same technique. This time, load your brush with two tones of green. The darker around the middle, as usual, and just on the tip, the lighter green. And just dab off the excess, like that. And then, this time, what you do is you push your brush down, and as you do it, just give it a little flick to the side. And you get that sort of leaf shape. See that? And with a bit of practice, you'll be creating all sorts of flowers and leaf shapes. And of course, different brushes will give you different petal shapes. And you can experiment. Look at this lot. Use different colours. And not only are push it, pull it flowers great fun to do, but you can use them to decorate all sorts of things. You could use it to decorate diaries. And they look fantastic if you've got any old bits of furniture or stuff around the house that was going to be thrown out. Just recycle them with some flowers.
Try it yourself. Load your brush with two tones and create push-it, pull-it flowers.